Good morning, Tammy. Well, as you mentioned, the minimum wage is going up in four provinces. However, in many cities, it still falls short of what's considered the minimum to live comfortably. So here in Ontario, the rate is going up about 65 cents. It'll be among the highest in Canada. It's going up to $17.20 an hour. That's thanks to an adjustment, an annual adjustment for inflation. In Saskatchewan, minimum wage is going up a dollar to $15 an hour. However, it will still be uh, tied for the lowest minimum wage in Canada, along with Alberta. As you mentioned, workers earning minimum wage in Manitoba and Prince Edward Island, they too will also see a slight pay bump starting today. But even these inflationary increases in the minimum wage are, by most estimates, not enough to cover all the bills. For those collecting a paycheck here in the GTA, they would need to earn about $25.05 an hour to make ends meet. That's according to figures from the Ontario Living Wage Network. Uh, while another affordability estimate from last year found workers must earn even more. The Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives found minimum wage would have to reach $33.60 to afford a one-bedroom apartment here in Toronto. That's almost double the newly increased minimum wage. So I've been asking Torontonians uh, here at Union Station on their way to work this morning whether or not they could survive off $17.20 an hour. They tell me the cost of living continues to weigh on their wallets, driven by basically everything, whether it's uh, groceries, utilities, mortgage or rent. And so the short answer is no, they couldn't survive on minimum wage. Here's more on why. Everything's too expensive. You can't afford gas, food, rent on minimum wage, right? People can barely do it on like $30 an hour. Like I make pretty decent money, but I'm still paycheck to paycheck. I did work in retail for a number of years, and there's no way in heck I could live downtown Toronto on that price. It's impossible. If you want to go out or anything, you can't do that with minimum wage. You always have to have like two jobs. Everyone I know is like hustling. I have like three different jobs, and I'm in school. I'm a housing worker. Even with my clients right now that are working minimum wage, should be working full-time jobs plus like um, over time and that's not even covering the cost of rent let alone basic necessities. Now British Columbia has the highest minimum wage in Canada of all the provinces uh, at $17.40 an hour. Federally regulated uh, private and public sector jobs uh, for those earning minimum wage in those sectors uh, they will see a pay bump in the minimum wage April 1st. Right now the federal minimum wage is set at $17.30 an hour.